So if you are in the sales industry, whether that you whether you're an appointment setter, closer, you're in your own business, whatever it is, you've probably heard the phrase pain point being thrown around the place. This is something that I learned really, really early on in my sales career when I was doing thoughts of sales, but it's not something that uh, we really touched. We didn't go into detail about this subject. Pain points, a lot of you boys, you'll know how to use pain points. I'd, I'd expect that if you're a high ticket appointment setter, you are at least utilizing pain points a little bit in your appointment setting or in your closing. But in this video we're gonna go we're gonna take that one step further we're gonna stop being just average appointment setters and we're gonna get to the really really meaty stuff we're gonna dive into this a little bit more to separate yourself from the, these average appointment setters in the market nowadays and if you're a business owner as well that like pay attention to this video so that you, you can make sure that your team is performing to the level that they should be performing all right In, just in case you don't know what a pain point is, a pain point, to uh, just word this simply, their current situation, a pain point is something that they're not very happy about, <laughs> right? They're not very happy about something or maybe something in the past has happened, like, you know, their girlfriend broke up with them, that's a pain point. And you, as the salesman, are the bridge between their, their pain and their desired situation where the pain is resolved and they're and they happy, right? That's your job as a salesman, to be the bridge between their pain and their solution. Let's dive into, like, how finding a pain point would actually work. So, you know, when you're conversing with your prospects as an appointment setter, your job right now is to, especially with outbound setting, right? Your job is to try and find one of their pain points. Of course, like, it's, you can't offer them a solution to that pain before you found their pain, right? You can't just assume their pain. You've got to get them to say it. You've got to get them to say their pain. Not only are they telling you your pain, but they're also telling themselves their pain. You might have heard, find the pain point, amplify the pain point, leverage the pain point, right? You might have heard this before. A typical appointment setting process is step one find pain step two amplify but this amplify part is something that's this is something that a lot of people don't do very well this is something that a lot of people overlook they'll find the pain point and they'll all they'll, straight away once they found a pain point they'll try and take this to the leverage part where they'll try to use the pain point and, and leverage it but they forget the amplify part and the amplified part is what we're really going to touch on today. Again, this is what separates great salesmen from average salesmen. So pay attention to this video, please. So most salesmen, they'll ask targeted questions. That's great. You know, I talk about all the time. You need to be asking questions. You need to be conversational, right? So how long have you been running the business for? What is your next goal with your business? And then this is this is the buzzword. This is the buzz question, right? Everyone says this. What is preventing you from reaching this goal? Very average questions, like not terrible, not the best, a little bit overplayed. People know what you're doing. Anyway, let's say it works. Because again, it's a very it's a very average appointment setting conversation. Let's say this works and they give you a pain point. I'm struggling to book enough calls. That is a pain point. That's something that's stopping their business from going. That's something that they are unhappy about. That's a pain point. I'm struggling to book enough calls. And then goes back to this up here where most people, most salesmen go wrong nowadays is they fuck off this part and they try to go straight from find to leverage. And then they'll end up saying something like this. Would you be open to arrange a quick chat to see if we might be able to help you out with that? Good message. And, you know, they've got the pain point and they're, they're directly offering a solution to this pain point in a very non-salesy way, which is great. Which is why I'm saying this is this is not terrible appointment setting by any means. If this is you, then you're not shit. But it's just very average appointment setting, okay? And we can take this, we can take this so much, we can make this so much better. I'd rate this a 5 out of 10. Bang, smack, average. Maybe I'd give it like a 5.5, but it's, 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 it's pretty average, right? It's not bad, it's not great, average appointment setting. This, a lot of the time, you know, this, this might work with a lot of people, but of course, you know, if we want to really maximize our commissions and we want these calls to have the best chance of actually closing, then the more work that we can put in as an appointment setup, the more likely that these calls are going to close. So here's how we take this to the next level. This, this one, I give it a score, nine out of 10. We're going to continue from here. After they say I'm struggling to book enough calls, we're not going to go straight to the call. Instead, we're going to, we're going to dive deeper into the pain, which is something that, that most people people don't do. In order to be a, an effective salesman, you need to show that you actually care about your prospects. In fact, forget actually showing that you care, you need to actually care about your prospects. That is the new model of selling. Whilst 
trust is at an all-time low. If you can separate yourself from these slimy scumbag salesmen and show that you actually care about your prospects, then you are going to thrive in this market. The current market in 2023 is all about just being genuine, asking questions, showing that you care about their problems, showing that you understand their problems. And by asking these questions, these targeted questions that we're going to go over, it's going to allow you to gain a better understanding of their problem so that you can now actually use these, like now, now that you understand more about them you can use this and the closer can use this in order to actually close them and it all comes down to you know you're trying to close them yes but you're trying to bridge the gap between their problems so the pain point i'm struggling to book enough calls and this is this is how big g appointments are as a handle this right oh not good how long has that been going on for how long oh not good so you, you, you know you're you're understanding them how long has that been going on for you're not just you're not just leaving it there you're going deeper inside of that how long has that been going on for and they're going to tell you if it's been a while, then that's an even bigger pain point now. And by getting them to say it, you are now amplifying their pain. Because most people don't sit down and actually think like, oh, this has been going on for too long. Now it's time to take action. That's what you're forcing the prospects to do. How is that having an impact on you? This is not. These are not questions that you see average appointment setters making. You know, these are not questions that you see average appointment setters asking. What happens if you don't find a solution to this? What happens if you don't? So probing questions, dive further, deeper into the pain. Consequence questions. What happens if you don't do this? And that is going to help create a sense of urgency. And that's again, you're, you're amplifying the pain here. What happens if you don't find a solution? Oh, well, my business, I'm going to go bankrupt and then I'm going to have to go back to my job at Nando's. You're amplifying the pain. And now, now that you've shown, you know, you care about their problems and now that you know even more about their problems, now that you've amplified their pain point, now is the time that you can actually go and leverage that in order to book a call. If there were, was a way that we could book an extra 10 qualified calls per week, would that lift the weight off your shoulders? Would that lift the weight off your shoulders, right? Ah, what a great line. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. Yeah, I, I, that, that would save the business. Oh yeah, I'd love to hear more about that. How about we have a quick chat tomorrow to see if there is a way to make that happen for you. Everything is very open-ended, you know. You're, I'm not asking for a commitment. I'm not asking for a commitment. I'm not saying, if there was a way we could get you, or if there was a way that I could help you. No, it's just the focus is on the prospects. That's what we're talking about here. We're talking about the prospects and the prospects' problems. If there was a way you could book an extra 10 qualified calls per week, would that lift the weight off your shoulders? Nothing to do with me in the business. How about we have a quick chat tomorrow to see if there's a way to make that happen for you? Instead of, no, like, this is where a lot of people go wrong. To see if we can help you out with that. Don't keep the focus needs to be on the prospect. As soon as you start tying yourself into this and, and the company into this, that's when the sales resistance comes in. You want this to be super, super open, no sales resistance. The defenses are all the way down. You're asking the right questions. You've got that pain point. You're already past their defenses. You don't want them to go back up. So keep things really open-ended. And yeah, this is how to go about that properly. So I'd give this a nine out of 10. If you disagree with my ratings at all, then you know, let me know in the, in the comments. And also, just to see if we've got any big G appointment setters here watching this video. If you've got any suggestions, you've got any other ideas for uh, probing questions or maybe even consequence questions, put them in the comment and help the rest of the appointment setters out. You know, alpha setters, if you if alpha, the alpha setters in the comments want to show out and uh, flex on the, these other non-alpha setters, then, then feel free. <laughs> This is not rocket science, but it's definitely not rocket science. You know, the difference between great appointment setters and good appointment setters is very small, very small details that just need implementing and optimizing. But once you get good at stuff like this, like probing questions and diving deep into pain, whether you're a closer, appointment setter, business owner, this stuff is really going to make a difference over the long term. And you're really going to start seeing those commissions come in that you, you actually deserve, right? The stuff that I'm talking about here, by the way, boys, don't have the book on me right now, but the stuff that I'm talking about here, you can all learn in a book called The New Model of Selling. Absolute beauty of a book. And of course, you can learn in The New Model of Selling. You can also learn inside of Alpha Setters. I've had a lot of people applying for this through my school, and I have no idea why where you guys are even finding this link to, to apply for my school, because it is very much, it's a paid program. It's invite only. I don't even market this. I don't market it. And I'm not here trying to sell you a course because I don't care. It's a very much exclusive program. Uh, the only way to even get access to this is my messaging me on Instagram. And then my appointment set will qualify you. You, you know the drill, right? But 
yeah, implement this stuff, boys. If you're an appointment setter or a business owner, and you're definitely gonna see the, you're definitely gonna see the rewards come from just these small few little tweaks. All right. If this video helps, you know, I hate begging for likes and stuff like that, but it generally does help the algorithm so much. So if you could please hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already. Got nothing, nothing to sell you here or anything like that. Just providing free values in the marketplace to hopefully fix the quality of some of these terrible appointments that are in the market right now. Anyway, boys, hope this helps. Let me know if there's any more videos that you want to see from me. Yeah, keep grinding, boys.